Well, it's a new year. 2024 will bring a fresh approach to my channel. It's time to grow and be a better person. Done other days with the insulting, angry side eye guy. A new year, a new perspective, and a new debunker. Who will treat each ghost hunter with kindness and respect? So, who am I watching today? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Hey hey, Segways! Well, I promised the twins I'd do another video on them, so here we are. The funny thing is, I wasn't going to react to them again. I'd already made three videos on Twin Paranormal, and I was done. But now, I will be making another video on Twin Paranormal, and if by chances they are actually listening to this, I want you to strike my next video I make of you. Please strike the video. Because every time you guys wrongfully strike a content creator who is criticizing you, it makes you look terrible. It makes you look guilty, and it makes you look like the fakers you are. Before I get stuck into the video, another huge thank you is warranted for all of my members and patrons. As I said, I made a promise to Twin Paranormal that I would make another video on them. So, unfortunately, this week, the three options for the vote were just Twin Paranormal. Apologies to all my members. Next week, we'll go back to the regular vote as it should be. So, a quick backstory here, guys. In the early days of my young channel, I did three videos on Twin Paranormal. In response, they the twins themselves, decided to put a false copyright strike on my channel and banning all three of the videos I made of Twin Paranormal from YouTube. It's all sorted now. I got the videos back as well I should have because all of the videos clearly fell under fair use. YouTube make it far too easy for arseholes like the twins to take full advantage of this, but I can't be bothered getting into all that right now. I made another video explaining the whole story from my perspective. I'm no longer angry about all this. In fact, there is a part of me that has come to realize Twin Paranormal were totally correct. I was a hater. I was using the twins for views and clout. Never mind that I debunked them on what Beardo called the single greatest debunk he'd ever seen. One of the greatest debunks I have seen. Never mind the shape featured a different video I made on the twins and agreed with me that Twin Paranormal are totally full of crap. These two are also just haters themselves. I had seen the light and realized that Twin Paranormal's heroic tactics to silence any debunker or critic that proves they are lying is totally justified. And I think Ryan, River, and Wyatt all deserve medals of integrity and honesty to have the balls to use YouTube's terrible copyright system to silence people who call them out. Well done, you brave, brave pioneers of free speech. I'm sure some of my regular viewers might be confused with what I'm saying here. And all I have to say to you people is, shut up! Twin Paranormal are the best, and if you think otherwise, you're just a hater, and you need to be banned off YouTube yourself. So I think now is a good time to show everyone my new look. What do you think, bro? Pretty badass, right? Bro, women want me, men want to be me. And I know what you're gonna say, I know. But don't be a jealous hater, okay? Anyway, today I'll be reacting with nothing but the highest praise for not only the greatest and most respectful ghost hunters on YouTube, but just the most all-round fantastic human beings you could ever possibly have in your life. And they would never do any of the things that their haters accuse them of. So dudes, enough of all that, on with the video. This is it, the Bolian Lodge. Is it a lodge or a cabin? We all have to be stuck in that thing? Dude, it's tiny! <laughs> what the f That thing is incredibly small. That's what she said. Hey, get out of here, bro. Mate, there is no way I'm gonna let you do this video solo. I need to talk some sense into you. Someone, ban this hater. Delete his channel. I feel like this cabin's big enough for the one of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Their chemistry's just amazing. This is going to be the longest video of my life. I think right now what we should do is we should rock, paper, scissors, and whoever loses has to go in there all alone the whole night. Yeah! We all... What the f***? 
even their rock, paper, scissor is fake. Dude, shut up, hater. Oh. Wait, we just all cancelled each other out. Yeah. No, that's a what full the f out. That's Bro, this is such great content. Let's do this. In 1859, there was one of the worst mining disasters in Nevada's history. A massive methane fire caused by an unattended lamp broke out 800 feet below the surface. Deep down in those depths, dozens of miners had tried to fight for their lives, but unfortunately could not make it out alive. It is estimated that this fire had caused the deaths of 30 to 40 miners. This tragic event went on for days and rescue attempts were made, but very few came out alive. And most of the victims were never even recovered. With this fire being one of the biggest in Nevada, some say that this could have been the devil's work. We're in the section of the video where we ask, how are twin paranormal going to lie and manipulate a real life tragedy to fit their lying narrative? It wouldn't take long after this disaster for the Gold Hill area to fall into hardship. One of those murders was a very well-known lady of the night, Julia Bulette. I'm not gonna let Twin Paranormal finish their bullshit about Julia Bellet. It has absolutely nothing to do with the cabin whatsoever. It seems to me that Twin Paranormal are just using her death for content. Using her name just makes everything they say a little bit more creepy, even though she died in her house about one and a half miles away from where the twins are actually staying. And she worked in a totally different saloon, also around one and a half miles away. She is buried in a cemetery, no way near this cabin. She has absolutely nothing to do with this. Uh, okay, bro, sure. Let's just move on, yeah? Julia's spirit and many others are known to wander that area around the hotel and the old mine. I looked online and the only website I could find that had anything to do with Julia Bellette and ghosts was on paranormalghostsociety.org. But don't let the name of the website fool you. They just give the real history on Julia's life and death. I can't find anywhere that claims that Julia is a ghost. Dude, can we just get on with the investigation? You keep talking like this, and the twin overlords will give you another strike. Many people have encountered negative energies that are said to have harmed people and like to torment them in their sleep. A lot of those people have reported waking up in a state of sleep paralysis, but while their eyes are opening, they see what they describe as a dark figure standing at the edge of their bed. Bullshit. Whether it's the Yellow Jacket Mine Cabin or the Bullion Lodge, people will experience what sounds as if somebody is trying to make their way inside. The Yellow Jacket Mine Cabin and the Bullion Lodge are both owned by the Gold Hill Hotel. The hotel website has a section which delves into its history. No mention of Julia Ballet or ghosts, by the way. The hotel building itself has a few rooms, and I could find a different website that claims that there are spirits haunting two of these rooms, but I couldn't find any information about the cabins being haunted. Bro, the twins are the best. Why? Well, what? Why do you think they're the best? Dude, because they're the twins, and let's just watch the rest of the video, okay? If we must. They will hear what sounds like pounding on the door, Hello? knocks on the window, leave, and even the door handle jiggling on its own. But we, the viewer, will experience cringy foreshadowing. Anytime anybody opens that door, that gives this dark energy the ability to make their way in. And last but not least, the spirit that is seen in the second floor window. As locals pass the Bullion Lodge, many of them have witnessed a man standing in the second floor window looking down on them. Now when they see him, they usually also say that they get this strange sense of unease. Even by twin paranormal standards, the narrative of this is so hard to make sense of. So because there was a fire in the mines, some say it was caused by the devil, and therefore this cabin is haunted, even though there is no direct reason for this cabin to be targeted by anything supernatural. They then make up a bunch of nonsense about shadow figures, and somehow Julia Bellet is involved with all this bullshit. I still have no idea why she was even brought up in the first place, other than a shallow attempt to exploit her death to attempt to legitimize their reason for being there in the first place. Bro, shut up and get on with the investigation. Hater! Okay, I have to address this right now. Somehow, amongst the nail going into the tire, I must have touched the tire and touched my face. It looks like I have a black mustache right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is.
is hilarious, bro. There is nothing on River's top lip at all. Bro, screw this hater. You guys are the bomb. Ugh, so cringe. Of a man that stares out of that window on the second floor. And it's even more scary when I got a black mustache. <laughs> it's kind of moustache. Watch out, Bullion Lodge. Here comes my mustache. Ha 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 ha. You guys are the best. Hey, hey, side eye guy. There are lots of channels that use the twins' content and they don't get copyright struck. The twins don't put strikes on videos that say that they're great. So just laugh. So you're faking all this so they don't strike us again. Dude, nobody's faking. Shut up. You're just a hater and the twins are amazing. I love you, twin paranormal. Seriously, side eye guy, shut up. This is going to be so painful to get through. We are calling out to any of the spirits here in the Bullion Lodge. The entity that has been seen up on the second floor staring out of the window. We'd love to have a conversation with you and find out why people are saying that you are a dark entity. We are also calling out to any of the spirits who are trapped outside, including from the Yellow Jacket Mine. If any of you remember who we are and would like to have a conversation, please come and join us. Friends, I am locked in the cringe position. Right away, we would like to introduce the three of us because we feel like that way it is proper. My name is Ryan. Woohoo! Ryan! My name is Wyatt. Oh yeah! Wyatt in the house! And my name is River. River! The Dream Team! Love you guys! We have these devices, one right here and I have one as well, that will allow you to use your words. You can use them as a sentence. Was that a confirmation? I don't know, but that was loud. Dudes, please be careful. We know how often you put your lies on the line in almost every video and how often ghosts, demons and skinwalkers attack you. I pray for you guys to stay safe every video and my prayers must work because somehow you never actually get attacked. Well, that's convenient. Hear me out on this. I don't think this place has always been two stories. Yeah. That up there, the second story, used to be an attic and then they turned it into a bedroom so that more people can stay. So what? Doesn't mean the place is haunted. Dude, that was three knocks, yeah. man. Agitated. Oh, what? What are you upset about? Reacting to another Twin Paranormal video. Is that why they're making so much noise? I don't know. Is there any way you can tell us why you're here? Because after you falsely copyright struck me, I said I was going to do another video on you guys. I didn't want to revisit you guys, but here we are. There's a device sitting on a chair up there. If you move energy through that, or get near it in any way, it will start to buzz. Can you help? Can you help? This is what we got across the street. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait a second, hold on. You remember across the street. Danger. Danger! Oh my god, bros, run! You're in danger because the app said so. And we all know these apps are dead people communicating. Or demons. Or skinwalkers. How, how do these apps work again? Because it gets a bit confusing. They say that when they stay in this cabin, it sounds exactly the same as when you're staying in the yellow jacket mine cabin. You mean silence? Like somebody is trying to get in. What just f happened? The door in handle. Front. In front! There's no f coming. No way, bro. There's nothing there. There's nobody there. No shit there's nobody there. I could have told you that from the start. What do you mean in front? What the f No, you, you're kidding. You heard Are you kidding? Oh. oh. With all this activity going on, you'd have thought it'd been pretty easy for me to find something online to back up that this place is haunted. Bro, stop hating on the twins. They're young. How old do you think they are? Dude, I don't know. Like 20? No, 28. 
How about the other one? What? Well, I assume River is 28 because he seems more mature. But what about Ryan? How old is Ryan? Jesus Christ, you're a fucking moron. What? Why? I didn't want to die. My device just said I didn't want to die. I don't want to die! That wasn't a oh, Guys, wait. the front door just did it. No. The front door just did it. I swear on everything. The stories are true, man. Let's just be honest. Being honest isn't really this channel's forte. That door is unlocked right now. You'd be able to come right in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, dude. Hold on, bro. Oh my god. They remember your voice. Maybe. But then again, this could be someone else because we just introduced ourselves. That is true. Who just said River's name? Curse. Curse. Does River have a curse on him? I'm hating every second of this. Of all the stress Twin Paranormal put me through when they gave me that bullshit illegitimate copyright strike, it's nothing compared to the dread and frustration of having to sit through another one of their shitty videos. This is awful. Dude, stop it. The twins are great. Side Eye Guy, stop it. They're going to strike you again, bro. I don't give a shit. Strike me. Do it! If you feel so threatened about a channel so much smaller than your own, then you're as guilty as they come. Dude! Shut up! But if you're dumb enough to strike me again, have the balls to go all the way with it and take me to court. Don't go half assed like last time, because I was not the only one these guys struck. They also put a strike on the shape. And every time you strike a YouTuber who criticizes you, it puts a spotlight on how fake you are. For every strike you put on me or another debunker, I will sit through more and more of your shitty content and point out how fake you are. Dude. But believe me, guys, nothing will make me happier than for you to not put a strike on anyone because I hate sitting through your videos. I want to make this clear. If Twin Paranormal do the right thing and don't put another strike on me or anyone else who criticizes them or debunks them, I will not do another video on them. It's crazy that I have to say this, as I've not had to say this to any other ghost hunter I've reacted to. If Twin Paranormal want to argue their case, they can do so as grown adult men. And that means don't use dirty tactics to silence your critics, you pair of wankers. Wankers! Sure. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Bunghole, continue. That's upstairs. Yeah. Somebody upstairs! I think we let something in. Did you? Don't, don't look. Don't look. Don't look upstairs. Ghost town. What ghost town in a f ghost town. That is weird. Fire! Fire! <gasps> Dude! There's no way. Whoa! What the That is literally the main history about this place is the fires that took down the whole town. Lots of activity coming through the apps. I wonder why. That might be how uh, whoever just said that died. Is that how you died? Did you die from a mind fire? We're gonna die of boredom. That is crazy. It's Julia. Julia! Julia? Let Dude, of crazy. course, she was a part of this Town. Think of all the people over the centuries that have been a part of this town that have died. Why would Julia's death be anything unique? She didn't die near the cabin, she didn't work near the cabin, she isn't buried near the cabin. This makes no sense. She shot me. Whoa, she so shot me. Julia shot somebody? Whoa, I have Dude. no idea. I mean, probably because it's never fucking happened. Just another ghost hunter rewriting history literally out of thin air. If you can confirm that it was Julia who shot you, can you knock twice, please? That was two? No. That was f two? No. That was two. Wait. Was that legit? No, it was not legit because nothing you guys say is legit. I couldn't even hear any knocks. If Julia did shoot you, I'm just trying to confirm this with something else as well. 
Somebody is telling us that potentially Julia shot them and killed them. Bro, even I can't get on board with this. Dudes, stop accusing someone of murder. Doesn't matter how long ago she died, or even if it was in self-defense. It's not cool making stuff up and passing it off as being factual. Well said. Shut up, hater. We have to go upstairs. There's so much f going on up there. Yeah, that is very loud. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh. oh. Who is with us and who is upstairs? What about that entity? The man? The one that is seen through the window? Is that you? Jack. 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 Here's Johnny. So your name Jack. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. There are people who stay here in this cabin, and a lot of these stories that are going around is that some people will wake up to seeing you at the edge of the bed. Can we get one source who says this has happened in this cabin? Just one. Um, what the f was that? Was that in the bathroom? I think so. Something moved in here. Did you just move something in here? You heard that. I, I have moved something. <gasps> Dude! Whoa! I have moved something! That just said I have moved something. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it's making sense why the response is from the app are so direct. Anytime a ghost hunter uses the Necrometer app, you can guarantee it's fake. And not just fake by chance, but it's engineered fake. The side I die. Bro! Good point. And he set off the REM pod like I was gonna ask. Did you face this way when that happened? I was like this. Oh, he might be able to hear it. Oh, I, I can definitely Something hear it. Something moved in here. Yeah. So what did you move? Only thing moving in there are your bowels. Can you maybe describe yourself a little bit? Well, I'm jumpy, annoying, loud, obnoxious, um, I lie and exaggerate a lot. I'm pretty disrespectful to the dead and the living in many ways. Anything else you want to know? Are you from the mine fire? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not the type to be easily offended, but I can't help but find it gross that anyone would lie in order to make a profit about a tragedy that claimed the lives of dozens of people, even if it did happen a long time ago. Jack, are you unhappy? What do you want? What do you want us to bring you? Attachment. Wait, wait, wait. What the f oh. oh. Okay, is this spirit trying to help us get rid of our attachment? I don't know, but the way that that was worded kind of seems like it is. That was weird. Are you saying you can help us? Spirits. Please help Twin Paranormal. They're such amazing, wonderful, godlike guys. Trick. Trick. Well, here's what I'm kind of picking up. So, don't spirits go after something that you really want and they try and trick you by luring you? Sometimes. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. For the spirits who are trying to communicate with us, can you please try and speak one at a time? When everybody starts to speak to us, it's very confusing. Nobody is speaking to you at all, you knobhead. Is that... That's on the deck. That walking on the deck. We gotta make sure that that's not actually somebody because our camera is out there. That's true. You could just look out the window. Yeah, that's a good point, bro. The camera's still there. Everything's good up front. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. That was definitely walking out there. Are you trying to get inside? One bad spirit. One bad spirit. Ooh, you're one bad, bad spirit. Who is that? How the f did we just get directed back down here? I don't know. It's weird. We were talking with somebody and then something started coming through telling us all that freaky cryptic It's true. Left me. Left me. Upstairs. Do you want us to come back up? Somehow, I actually forgot how boring Twin Paranormal videos can be. Up the stairs, down the stairs, something outside, now it's followed them inside, creating bullshit plot threads from whatever nonsense the Necrometer app spews out. Female evil. Female evil. Who is this female evil now? I 
I think the camera is dying right now. They're forcing us out. Literally. Dude, they're literally forcing those guys outside. Damn, bro. This is intense. Can someone please teach Wyatt what literally actually means and when you should use it? Nothing is forcing you outside. Stop talking bollocks. If we open that door, are we in danger? Get back. Oh. oh. This is scary. That was scraping outside. Fight. Fight. Listen to the door. Oh my god, dude. This is so freaky. So you actually find this entertaining? Yeah, it's scary, bro. No, it's not. It's tedious and boring. Nothing actually happens. And I can guarantee you, nothing will happen. That's not true, bro. Oh, really? When have Twin Paranormal ever caught some evidence that has nothing to do with apps or their little toys? So many thumbnails says ghost or demon caught on camera, or they nearly died. But when has this actually ever been the case? Well, it's not as simple as that. So you find shouting and farting around, but nothing actually happening, entertaining? Um, well, yeah, ki kinda. I don't even know anymore, dude. Once again, if we do open that door, are we in danger? How many more times are we going to hear you guys ask the same fucking questions? It's so boring. Make it stop. Knock on that door. Yes. How do we get out of here? The same way you came in, dipshit. Let's be friends. Whoa! I'm a friend. Let's be friends. Friends, friends, friends. We are all friends. But you guys realize that whoever is out there is trying their best to get us out there. They're telling us things. They're doing things. They're knocking on the door. They're literally lying to us trying to be nice. So we will open the damn door. Yeah, that's the face of someone who's really scared. Oh. oh. By them saying, let's be friends, we really don't have that many friends, so it's like, that's definitely gonna work. That is true. That makes me kind of think differently. The fact that we don't have many friends and we'd like to get more friends. If they weren't such assholes who strike their critics, I'd actually feel sorry for them. But fuck them. Since doing this channel, I've had Exploring with Josh, Proving Demons, The Paranormal Files, Paranormal Nightmare, and Seth Borden, I mean Ghost Theory, all respond to me in the comments of the videos I've made of them. They all showed a good sense of humor and that they could take a joke. But not these fuckwits. You good, bro? You really need to let this strike thing go. As long as this video here does not get a strike, I won't bring it up again. For anyone listening and going to call me bitter, yeah, I'm bitter. When someone intimidates you and gives you a strike which directly threatens your whole channel by taking advantage of YouTube's poor copyright system, let's see how well you take it. Is there somebody upstairs? You still up there? I like to play games. Who or what is it that's outside? What do they want? Someone's trying to help us. I let them in. Don't let, let them, them in. in again, dude. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. There is still 30 minutes left of this shite video. All I'm watching are three guys sat in a small room, dragging out, opening a front door. That's it. That's the video. I can't take this. I gotta admit, bro, this is getting a bit tedious. Please, can you take that stupid shit off your face? I'm not ready, dude. Oh. My. God. This is scary, man. This is no joke, guys. I'm starting to get, like, choked up. <laughs> We don't want to let them in. Please explain though. What's going on? Why are they trying to get in? Do they want us? There is still 27 minutes left of this video and I honestly don't think I can make it to the end. Yeah, dude. I think I've had enough. Can you now?
take that shit off your face. Yeah, I think I've got to. I'm done, guys. Bye. Thank you. That's actually some of the freakiest, most intelligent responses we've ever caught on the channel. Please don't hurt us. <laughs> I'm in danger. Again, whoever's out there, if you give us two clear knocks on the front door here, maybe we could talk. I don't like talking. Oh my. Don't like talking? Those fucking apps haven't shut up all night. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, I'm going to hurry this along because I honestly feel like my brains are dripping out of my ears. Finally, one of them goes outside and it's Wyatt to change a camera battery. They try and make Wyatt going outside dramatic and suspenseful, but it's just cringe as fuck because obviously nothing actually happens to him. They then do some bullshit EVPs and that's all boring nonsense as well. Our and my most memorable nights investigations tonight. This is proof. The noises, the conversation, it's proof, man. This is 100% proof. Proof you're a fuck. God. Lots of people can't top this shit, man. Oh. oh. I'm done. I'm out. I cannot take this bullshit anymore. You know, last time I didn't finish a video was, funnily enough, Twin Paranormal when they lied about being at Skinwalker Ranch. The rest of this tedious video has Ryan giving himself a reach around because he thinks the evidence is so strong. Lots of people can't top this shit, man. But obviously, it's just manipulated and manufactured between the apps and the editing. Do you actually believe the crap that comes out of your mouth? Subscribe to my channel, and if they do strike me again, I'll keep everyone up to date with the story as it happens, just like I did the last time. There is just one more thing. So the video has ended, but recently, Entity 7 Paranormal Joe Fatale did his own video debunking Twin Paranormal when they went to the Monroe house. So Joe and Dawn have been to the Monroe house themselves many times because they are real paranormal investigators. So when Twin Paranormal went, Joe and Dawn are more than well educated to debunk all of Twin Paranormal's silly claims. Please go check this video out for yourselves. I will be joining Joe and Dawn when we go to the Conjuring house in March 2024. So please subscribe to Joe's channel. He's what I consider a real paranormal investigator. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and let me know if there are any other ghost hunting videos you'd like me to review. Cheerio!